RSS is an easy way to keep up with important news and information. It helps you to avoid the old and cumbersome traditional way of searching for information on the World Wide Web. Let's talk about RSS, shall we? Hi, and welcome to Public Health Resources channel, where I provide useful resources for students, residents, teachers, researchers, to make them better equipped to tackle real life public health problems. In today's world, having the right information is key to becoming successful with anything you do. And with the proliferation of websites on the internet and the extent of misinformation online, getting timely, reliable, and useful information can be a very, very daunting task. So in this video, we will be discussing what is RSS, how can RSS help you, what are RSS feeds, how do you use an RSS reader, and lots more. Now, every time you go to that website that you love, searching for new content and updates, you have just wasted precious time that you can never regain again, especially if you don't find anything new or you don't find any of your updates. With RSS, you can eliminate this time wasting process by bringing all of the latest content from your different websites that you regularly visit, bringing them directly to you. Okay. And this can be presented to you in a single place where you can access at any time. All right. So you may even put it as your homepage on your web browser or on an app on your phone so you can easily have access to it. Now, what is this RSS? RSS stands for Resource Description Framework Site Summary. Well, don't be bothered about this big word. You can simply just call it Really Simple Syndication or Rich Site Summary. For short, call it RSS. It's really simple and believe me, it is rich. RSS is really just a simple and easy way for you to keep up with news and information that is important to you. It helps you escape the time-consuming conventional methods of browsing and searching for information on websites. It has now become a common way to easily distribute a list of headlines, update notices, and sometimes contents to a wide audience. Consider RSS to just be like the notification center on your smartphone. You know, most of us are addicted to our smartphones, right? And that includes you, okay? And if you don't believe me, check out my quick video here that shows you how much you are already addicted to your smartphone. Now, as I was saying, consider RSS to be just like the notification center on your smartphone. Now, anytime your smartphone makes a small sound or it vibrates, you are quick to bring out the phone and you usually know what to do. You just pull down on the screen and the phone accesses all your notifications. Now, these notifications are usually important information, in quote, <laughs> all right, about your installed apps. And these are put in a place for you to easily access and read. So also, RSS gathers all the content that are important to you from the different parts of the web and delivers it for you directly without any stress or without cluttering your inbox with email messages. With all this said about RSS, how can RSS help you? Well, these are the six ways in which RSS can be of benefit to you. Um, the first is automation. RSS can help you to automate information gathering so you don't have to chase information. The information comes to you directly and automatically, okay? And then the second is time saving. RSS can help you save a lot of time because you don't have to go on a wild goose chase all the time looking for stuff. And then quick scanning, and this is one of my favorite. With RSS, you can scan through the content quickly from sources you have selected because it just gives you a quick preview for you to choose from. It also not only saves you time, but makes you more efficient with acquiring information, which is just simply amazing. Now, it helps you to keep pace. RSS helps you to keep up with new information online so you can track blogs, check news, check out things that are just important to you. And then it also helps you to stay organized. With all this information that has been gathered for you with RSS, it organizes it for you for easy readings. So you yourself can stay organized. And lastly, which is also important, RSS can help you to share your information that you have cooled with your network of friends and colleagues with just one click of a button. Now, what are RSS feeds? Now with RSS, you know that you will get the latest and up-to-date contents right where you want it. Well, this important content that is gathered for you and presented to you, the news, the updates, and all that important stuff are called feeds, all right? A single one is called a feed. So what happens here is that the RSS is written in the internet coding language known as XML, which is extensible markup language, which is a simple text-based format for representing structured information, documents, data, configuration books, transactions, invoices, and much more. And in order for you to be able to use these RSS feeds, you must have what we call an RSS reader, okay? So what are RSS readers? 
An RSS reader is a small software program that collects and displays RSS feeds for you in an easy way. Okay, It allows you to scan headlines from a number of news resources and presents it for you in a central location. Which RSS reader should you use? Well, most common browsers such as the current versions of Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari all have built-in RSS readers. But if you are using a browser that currently doesn't support RSS, there are a variety of RSS readers available on the web. Some are free to download and others are available for purchase. As of today, these are the popular free readers. There are quite a lot to choose from. So here are three most popular readers, okay? Now, you can find links to them in the video description below. And as this video becomes older, these readers may become outdated. So just search for the three best RSS readers on Google and decide which one you want um, to use. Deciding which reader to choose from ultimately comes down to your own preference, okay? They all work in the same or similar way and just about everyone seems to use a different RSS reader these days. For me, I like Feedly, okay? Well, you can use whichever one you like. You just need to know how to navigate around it um, and to get things done for you easily. So how do you get started with RSS? The first step is to choose an RSS reader. Let me demonstrate with um, Feedly. Each RSS has a slightly different way of adding a new feed. For some readers, these feeds may be called channels, all right? And the next thing you will need to do is, as usual, create an account. If you have an existing account, you just need to just log in. All right. Otherwise, you can use any of the existing accounts you have from Google, Apple, Twitter, or Microsoft. Okay. So I will just use my own Google account. I put in my name. All right. I enter my password. Okay. Remember, this is the new password for Feedly account, not your Google password. All right. Okay. Now check off uh, the box here and click get started and you are good to go. Okie dokie, Arichoki. Now select how you'll be using it between work and personal use. For me, I'll just choose uh, personal use, all right? And then select your goal for using this web app. So I will just select the first one for the sake of this um, demonstration. Uh, for me, I want to follow useful websites like WHO, the CDC, all right? To get the latest up-to-date health information, all right? It's just so unfortunate that you even see senior public health professionals peddling and sharing unverified health information. You see them sending it on WhatsApp, you know, like with the COVID-19. It was just so embarrassing. It will bring us to this uh, main page. It's very simple user interface. On the far left pane, you can see some icons, right? Now, I'm not going to go into detail because this video is not about Feedly. Also, because there are so many RSS readers available. So just follow the directions of your own reader. But in most cases, this is just how it works. Look for where to click to add a new feed or a new channel. For Feedly, we are actually already on that page, okay? Which is the main page. But if for some reason you are not on this main page, then just click on the icon that has the RSS logo over there. But first there, you need to go to the website that you want to get updates from, all right? Click on the link or the small XML button where the feed is okay for example we want to get constant updates from the who website we won't want to be going every time to check whether there is a new update or or not uh because that will be tantamount to a waste of our own time so what we can simply do is to set up a channel that brings in these updates automatically for us and directly anytime they are available when you see this link just simply click on it and you'll see this page all right displaying xml code don't let it scare you just chill all right, we don't need all of this stuff and all what we just need is the URL, okay? The web address. From your web browser, just copy that URL and then go to your RSS reader and paste the URL in the channel section of the reader. For this Feedly reader, just paste it in this search bar and select the particular feed when it pops up because it will pop up automatically. All right, particular RSS feed will be on display. And for this feed, as you can see, everything emergencies and outbreaks in WHO Afro region will be coming to me directly and automatically. Then you click on follow and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. So, and if you want to be a little more organized, you can put it in a folder. Let's call this folder public health updates, all right? And then we click on create. Now you will notice that we now have a new folder on the left pane. And within that folder, we have created a channel or a feed that supplies us with the latest up-to-date information about any public health emergencies and outbreaks. Now, let's try another very important feed from none other than the CDC, okay? Now, let's see, the CDC has one of the best resources for health in general, and more specifically for traveler's health, 
okay so we can see the feed url and as earlier described either we click on it or we just copy it when you click on it you see all these computer codes don't get scared okay that's the xml code that we have been talking about all right just copy the url up there and we go to our rss reader and we paste it so simple now this is very interesting just take a look at this with feedly you will see so many other important suggestions now you can also follow any of the ones that sounds good um, to you okay you can even see european cdc over there just hanging in there right okay so i just wanted to add feeds for travel health but now i'm seeing other amazing information like that of covid19 look i've been looking for this feed for quite some time now great great so i'll just follow it all right notice that immediately as i follow this feed i have two updates that were automatically populated now let me click on the first one wow you can see this is Novavax, COVID-19 adjuvanted vaccine stuff, latest stuff. Now, if you have been afraid of mRNA vaccines, now there's Novavax. Please go and get vaccinated, please. Okay. So the next time when there's any updates to any of all these sites, I'll get automatic and direct information to my RSS reader. This is how simple it is. Easy peasy. Okay. It's that simple. Now, let me know in the comment section of this video, which RSS feed reader um, are you using? And mention one website that you will want to link the feed reader to. Okie dokie, added Chalky. So we have been able to understand what RSS is and the benefits of using RSS. We also mentioned the different types of feed readers and I demonstrated how to use one of the web-based feed readers called Feedly. Now, if you have gained value in this video and you want to support my efforts, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and share with your friends and colleagues so as to help them benefit from this amazing content all right in my next video god willing i am going to demo how to use your mobile phone to get important rss updates but until then peace